So I was born in 1973 to an unwed teen mom who was a high school dropout and her mother had just been killed in a car accident right before I was born. I mean, she didn't really have anybody, so she did the best she could. I, I know my mother loved me, but God, God, it must have been so hard for her. I can imagine how hard it was, but eventually she got strung out on crack. And so here I was at 13 trying to figure shit out for myself. And I was like garage surfing, couch hopping, just going from home to home, friends, family members, whoever would help me out. And eventually the state picked me up. I dropped out of high school at 16. I started working at Denny's on the graveyard shift. And I remember I saw this infomercial and I ordered this book. It was Unlimited Personal Power, Tony Robbins. So I decided that I was going to go back to school. I went to talk to the high school counselor and she told me that my best bet was to stay dropped out of high school so that I could get my GED and continue working so I could support myself. (laughs) I am notorious for not listening to people. So I went back to high school the next year. I went to day school and night school all year. I graduated on my 18th birthday and I got a full academic scholarship to University of Arizona. I went on beyond college eventually to compete and I became a fitness model. Um, Internationally, I became a competitor. I was doing things that I never dreamed of. So as I continued building my career, I'd met my husband, we'd had a daughter, and uh, we had a second daughter, and it was a great life. I mean, we were doing what we could to build our future, and I thought, yes, this is what I survived everything for. This is what life is all about. It's family, and it's love, and, and it all made sense, and we were building a business, and I mean, it just seemed like my life, all my dreams were coming true. And there were dreams I didn't even know that I had, to be honest. And um, I just wanted to build a great career and a great family. And that was my goal at that time. But then by the time we were pregnant with our third baby, my husband let me know that he didn't want to be together anymore. So that was unexpected. So at that point, no, it was not easy. After my divorce, I became the sole supporter. And when I decided that we were gonna leave Arizona and come to LA to pursue my kids' careers, um, I knew that I was going this route alone. And was it easy? No. It's never easy being a parent, no matter if you have parents helping you, your family helping, it's never easy. You just like everything in life, you get better at it as you continue the journey. And now that my kids have gone on with their lives, my daughters are college graduates, my son's about to go off to college, I just feel like now is the time. I've got my training background, my nutrition background, my athletic background, life coaching background, and I just thought, you know what? This needs to be together in the system that I used for myself to give something to others with the fullest level of commitment that I've given to my children. I mean, I don't want this to be for me. It it was never for me to begin with. This has always been for a purpose. Like everything in my life, I feel everything 
has been done for and with a purpose and and the purpose now is committing to these clients and getting them to not just their optimal level but challenging them to get to a higher level within their lives constantly driving them beyond their current peak performance level and helping them reduce the stress while they do it because that was the biggest problem for me over the years it wasn't getting there getting there and driving that was fucking easy the hard part is doing it with bliss and that's what I'm committed to you know I, I I don't know anything other than drive but I can tell you one thing there's a difference between driving and feeling like shit and driving and feeling like a champion and I want to help people thrive I want to bring more happiness into the world that's what I'm committed to as a coach that's what I guarantee If I I guess if you were to ask me what my passion was, I wouldn't say fitness or even motherhood. I'd say it's the capacity for the human spirit. That's my passion.